Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, I'm doing my two looks video with the Glam Light and Michaela palette. I'm so excited that I treated myself to this. I've already done so many looks for you. As of this moment, I've already done my first impressions video and Instagram video slash TikTok, and now this video. So four looks out there if you want some inspiration. Just in case you haven't seen the inside before, here it is in all of its glory. In case you missed my first impressions video, I'm sure some of you might be confused that I treated myself to a 30 pan palette because I'm not usually a big fan of large palettes, but something about these colors just makes my heart sing. I love the tones in here. Everything is very unique. There's really only six neutrals in here, so it's mostly colorful, but it's not just a rainbow palette either. The shimmers look so special in the pictures, and I can attest that they are just as special in real life. This is my first time trying Glam Light, and I'm so excited that I finally tried them. I'm so happy a palette came out that just tugged at my heartstrings, and... Yeah, I'm just so pumped to dive in and play with this with you. I totally forgot to give my jewelry and wig details in both uh, looks, so let me do that now. I'm pretty sure in both looks, both chokers are from Shop Sun & Co, and both sets of plugs are from Love Kills Boutique. In look number one, my long green wig is a Christmas brand wig, and that witch hat is from Fox Blood Shop, and then this wig is just from a local shop, so I think that's all I have to say. Let's just hop in and play with some makeup. Hello, how's it going? Today is actually July 3rd. Um, I'm getting ready to go to a birthday dinner with my friends because my birthday's on the 7th, so I'm celebrating with some of my friends tonight. I'm really excited. For today's look, I wanna do kind of a purple green Beetlejuice witchy glittery look. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling and that's what we're gonna do. I have some wine, cheers. This is Stella Rosa Black. It's so good, do not be deceived by the dark color. It's so sweet and tasty. Even Zane likes it and he doesn't drink it all, so. Mm. Ah, decadent, so good. I'm gonna prime with the Smashbox Lid Primer in Light. I'm gonna spread it all around, blend it out. I'm not gonna set it because I don't prefer to do that. I'm also gonna tuck this wig. I know that looks so scary and awful, but it's fine. So I'm gonna start with Frisky. I've yet to use this shade, so I'm excited to use that really pretty deep purple. Come on camera, get it together. <laughs> um, this is an MOTD Cosmetics Eye Catching Crease Brush. It's just a really long pencil brush. So I'm gonna focus that in the outer corner. I'm just gonna stamp it on. I'll carry it through. Oh my gosh, do you hear my cats going crazy outside? What are they doing? I think it's because it's dinner time. It's 5.01 and they're ready for dinner. <laughs> So I'm gonna focus this right here in the outer corner. Start dragging it through the crease. Keeping it nice and tight though, because I want there to be room to blend everything out. I'm gonna also smudge this on the lower lash line, but stopping about halfway across. I'm just going to focus on stamping this and start angling it outwards. That looks scary, but it's good. <laughs> now I wanna take Willow to start adding some depth to that. It's a really deep, 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 deep color with like purpley undertones. I'm taking that on this angled Luxie brush. It's a Luxie 131. And I am just going to pop this right here in the outer corner. I'm also gonna smudge this against the lower lashes, just trying to keep the shade a little bit tighter than the one I previously laid down. This look is gonna look scary until it's not. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Now I'm gonna just smudge across, not taking it across quite as far, I'm stopping about halfway. So now I'm gonna take a little bit more frisky on that pencil brush, holding the very, very end so I have light pressure. I'm just gonna very softly just start Lightly smushing just to start blending those two shades together so that they're nice and soft before I go in with my lightest purple. Kind of sort of something like that. So now I want to take a mixture of pot two with MJ. I just think the combination is going to be exactly what I need. I'm going to take that on this Luxie 229 brush. I'm just going to kind of dip back and forth in between, tap it off, and again holding the very end of my brush so I have light pressure. I'm just going to start slowly going to town, blowing this out. I'm just getting everything nice and blendy. I'll dip into more shadow as needed. Did I ask how you're doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm in a great mood. Just getting some editing and stuff done today before I have dinner. I'm so excited to eat. Ooh, I love this. I think that's looking so good. I'm gonna wipe this brush off so that it's mostly clean. And I'm just gonna kind of do the same thing with my like mostly blank brush. 
focusing out here just to make sure this outer area is very soft. I am gonna cover this outer area with a lot of glitter. So it really, it's not that important. You do want the blend underneath to still look good, but it's not as urgent as it would be if I were to leave it like this. But I mean, this looks great. Might tap a little bit more of that first brush, no additional product. I'm really liking the purples in this palette, it's so pretty. Okay, so what I'm thinking now is I want the shade Immaculate to cut the crease and I want it to fade into Bonehead. But I only want Immaculate just in this very front and then I want the rest to be Bonehead. Or maybe I just want Bonehead. I think I just want Bonehead actually. I think I might pop Immaculate down here. That's what I wanna do because I want that purple and green to really pop next to each other. So let's just do Bonehead. I am gonna start first with my NYX Glitter Primer. I'm gonna take that on this flat brush from ColourPop, the E3. and just smush this across my lid. I like to use the glitter primer because it really helps the shimmers pop and it also helps me be precise when I'm doing cut creasey things like I am right now. I'm just following the natural roundness of my eye but going right above my natural crease because that's what works best for my eye shape. All right, dip it into Bonehead. Ooh, it's gorgeous. I haven't used this shade yet either. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I'm so excited for these Beetlejuice colors to come to life on my eyeballs. I'm just kind of following that roundness of the cut and then I'm just gonna smack it all across the rest of my lid. Oh my gosh, this green is stunning. I'm losing my mind over here. I'm gonna kind of stop it right where it's really deepening up out here in the outer corner. Kind of, sort of, something like that. And then I'm gonna take the Luxie brush I had with that very dark shade Willow, no additional product. And I'm just gonna very lightly and carefully smudge right where that seam of matte to shimmer meet, just so that I can make sure it flows nicely. And again, I am gonna put a lot of glitter out here so it's not like that urgent. A lot of that seam is gonna be covered up anyway, but I still want the underneath to look nice. Yep, I love it, I love it a lot. And now I wanna take Immaculate and pop a little of that on the front portion of my lower lash line. I'm just gonna take that on this teeny tiny smudgy brush, the Luxie 111. I have not used this Immaculate shade yet either, I don't think. Oh my gosh, it's so sparkly. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh yes. And now for the inner corner, I really want to use Stun In, this bright light green, but I don't know if it's going to look good. So I'm going to start with that, and then I might have to top it with Naz because this just might not be good by itself. Or you know what, maybe it will be. It's kind of weird, but I still like it. Yeah, I'm going to take just a little bit of this Naz shade just to pop on top of that light green, just to make it a twinge more highlighty. And now for the glitter, I'm gonna be using the Orglamix glitter in the style Lucid Dreams. It's just kind of like holographic, different shapes. I just spilled everywhere. That's what I get for trying to show you. My goodness. Glitter is all fun and games until it's not. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna take that on this very old Urban Decay brush that I don't care about, and I'm gonna take some more of the NYX Glitter Primer. Just in case you've never seen me do this, this is like one of my favorite ways to wear glitter, and I haven't done it in a hot minute, so I just have a little bloop of it, and I'm just gonna very lightly just up and down tap the glitter primer in the outer corner, kind of in a V-ish shape, so that it just feathers out with my eye look. And I'm being careful not to sweep because I don't want to ruin the blend that's underneath that might peek through. And now with that same sticky brush, just going to tap right into that glitter and stick it right on my eye. Always be very, very careful if you're going to use glitter around your eyes. You're not technically supposed to, but I'm a rebel. This look is very cute without the glitter, so don't feel the need to put glitter on your eye if you're uncomfortable. Do as I say, not as I do. And I like to also kind of take the little pieces that are just kind of stuck around it just to kind of have some little pieces feathering around as well because it kind of gives it a little bit of a glitter gradient, you know? Oh, I love this so much. It just makes me feel so spicy. It's so cute. Okay, well, I'm gonna repeat it on the other eye. Throw on my lashes, eye pencil, something on my lips, um, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, here's the completed spooky look. I'm obsessed with this. I'm so happy to be like 
I don't know, channeling spooky vibes right now. It feels good. The eye pencil I paired with it is Psychedelic Sister from Urban Decay. It goes perfect with my waterline. My lashes are the style Aries from Lunar Beauty, and on my lips, I just had to use Purgatory from Black Moon Cosmetics. One of my favorite lipsticks ever. I love this deep purple, and it goes wonderfully with this look. So I love this. I feel so cute. I am going to finish getting ready and then eat a lot of food, and then I will see you tomorrow morning for look number two. All right, hi, hello, it is the fourth, it's the next day. Let me just go ahead and tuck this wig. Looks nice and scary, it's good. Um, yeah, we're gonna do look number two. I think I just wanna do something very soft on the lid and then do a big winged liner. Not like my really thick big winged liner, but just like a regular big winged liner and then top some shadows on top of it. So yeah, I'm gonna, I think, have the green one called the best color flowing into Simba, just like a wash of that across the lid, and then we'll do some wing action. I'm gonna prime with the Smashbox lid primer again, blend it out, and I'm not gonna set it because I don't prefer to do that. All right, I'm gonna take the best color first, and I'm gonna take this Alter Ego number seven brush. Today, we're going to St. Augustine, Zane Morgan and I, not for 4th of July festivities because we don't really celebrate 4th of July. It's just because it's my birthday weekend and that's what I wanna do. We're not going to the beach, I hate the beach, but we're going to like St. George Street to walk around, eat yummy snacks, just have fun, mosey, you know? I really like this shade. This shade is really cute. It's my first time using it and it's gorgeous. And now I'm gonna take Simba on actually another Alter Ego number no. seven brush. I have two of them. Fun fact, I have Simba tattooed on my shoulder. That was my first tattoo ever. Gosh, probably, probably a decade ago. <laughs> Lion King is my favorite movie ever. Just thought I would share that information. <laughs> I'm just gonna focus this out here. I'm actually gonna wipe it off because that's very pigmented. This is my first time wearing this shadow on my eye. I've used this as a blush, but I haven't used it as an eyeshadow yet. It's quite lovely. I'm gonna pop a little of this down here as well. I don't want my lower lash line crazy blown out, but I do want to just connect a little bit of it down here. This color combo is really cute. Wow. Maybe I don't want a top shadow on top of a wing. I'm kind of liking this. No, I think I still will. Maybe I won't. Because I do want a wing, but I'm kind of liking... I don't know what I want. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to keep playing and just kind of figure out where we land. Cause I mean, even this just by itself, like this is such a quick, simple look and it's so pretty. But I know I want to be a little more extra than this, but I'm very tempted to just leave it literally like this because this was, I've literally been filming three minutes and this is already really cute. Oh, I'm tempted. Am I gonna just leave it? I can't just leave it. I feel like you guys would be so mad at me if I just left it like this. This would feel like the laziest look ever, but it's really pretty. I really like it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my winged liner because I already told myself I wanted to wear a big wing today, so that's what I wanna do. Um, this is my Illamasqua Precision Gel Liner, and I'm just gonna use this Illamasqua Liner Brush. I'm just gonna get some product on there, and I'm going to just start making a wing. Obviously, you could skip this step. I was very tempted to skip this step, but I also really wanted to wear a wing today, so. Here goes nothing. I do kind of want to do the thing though where this wing doesn't go all the way across my lid. I want it to kind of stop here so that I can have that really like tapered effect with my eye. I might connect it all the way across, we'll see. Clearly I just don't know what I want today. <laughs> I just want to have fun. No, I'm gonna stretch it all the way across. I feel most myself with like a huge dramatic wing. I haven't used this liner in a while. I forgot how just creamy and glidey it is. All right, so there's that. I'm gonna quickly go off camera and just perfect this because I need to be really close to my mirror to like get all the details in, but nice solid looking wing. That looks cute. Okay, so I got them both matched up. Um, I'm so torn because my idea was to throw shadows on top of these wings, but I kind of just like this vibe. I think it's so pretty. So I think I'm gonna leave it. I hope I don't hurt anyone's feelings if you were expecting more from me, but I just love this. I mean, I'm astounded that it just took two shadows for me to be sold um, on this look. Uh, I'm gonna take Glow Up to highlight my inner corner because it's a really pretty peachy shade and I think it'll complement the outer part of my look nicely. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. I've actually used this as a face highlight as well and it's really pretty. Just a nice peachy tone. Oh, I'm so excited about this look. I really thought I was going into this with something totally different, but I just, I love it. I love it with my whole heart. Especially once I have my big lashes on, this look is gonna be so cool. Yep, that's, that's the look. <laughs> I'm gonna throw my lashes and eye pencil in something on my lips and I will be back to finish this up. All right, here is the look complete. I feel so cute. I did dot some stars on my face with the ColourPop star stamp. Um, I don't know why. I just thought it would be cute and I love it. <laughs> the eye pencil I paired with this is Bay Breeze from ColourPop. I just wanted to kind of compliment that peachiness I had going on. My lashes are the Style Aries again from Lunar Beauty. I think I wore those in look number one as well. And on my lips, my lip combo is the Field Day Pencil from ColourPop with the Lunar Beauty Celine Gloss. I thought this gloss would go really nice with my inner corner highlight, and I think it does. So this is the look, I love it. I definitely love look number one better because <laughs> that was so much my vibe, but I'm really into this. I didn't expect to, I don't know, fall in love with this look so fast, but here we are. Let me zoom out and I will give you my thoughts on the palette. All right, what did you think? Which look was your favorite? Are you into that spooky Beetlejuice witchy vibe that I did with all the glitter or are you more into this vibe? I would love to know which is your favorite. I love both, but that first one just has my heart. Loved that look. Okay, let's break it down. Honestly, I haven't really touched these first five on here, the neutral ones just yet, just because I don't reach for neutrals too often, but I'm sure that they're fine. I love this willow shade and I love that it has that purpley tone to it because when I first saw it in pictures, I thought it was just a dark brown, but it is like a deep, deep purple. So it's perfect for deepening up some of these like colorful looks down here. I'm pretty sure on this row I've played with everything except for Cookie, Buffalo Chicken, and Accent, um, but all the other ones are really pretty. I'm loving how the mattes perform. The shimmers are so glitzy, glittery, glimmery. I'm obsessed with them. On this row, I'm pretty sure I've played with everything except New Beige, although I might have popped that on a lower lash line at some point. Either way, I've played with pretty much everything on that row, and it's all just so gorgeous. This row I played with everything, this row I played with everything. I'm just having a blast with this. I'm actually going out of town for my birthday tomorrow for a few days. I'll already be back by the time this video comes up, but I'm bringing this with me and I'm so excited to keep playing with it. I've had no issues with blending or patchiness. I focused a lot on the purples throughout my looks. I didn't intentionally do that. I guess I was just feeling that vibe and purples in particular can be harder to formulate and these are superb. They're just so smooth and they blend so easily. I didn't have to fight with any of these shadows. The shimmers take my breath away. So far, I really have no critiques and I'm really happy I treated myself to this. So. Yeah, there's that. I would love to know your thoughts. Did you pick this palette up? Do you wanna pick it up? It's on pre-order right now. I think they'll be doing another regular restock at some point. I'm not totally certain, but I know it's up for pre-order, at least as of this moment that I'm filming this. Have you tried Glam Light before, whether it's this palette or something else? I would love to know what you've tried from them and what you think. For the most part, Glam Light doesn't appeal to me too much because I'm not into the savory food theme. The birthday cake one almost got me, but that palette's also really big and I only really liked the bottom half of it. And the red velvet cake almost got me but I also didn't really need that color story in my life I didn't have a hole for it so for the most part their theming just isn't super there for me I don't mind the sweet theme but the savory is not for me but this one was just really solid I want them to come out with more small curated palettes though like the red velvet cake because I like that sizing a lot if you made it to the end of this video why don't you leave me a star emoji since I have stars on my face and if you liked this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you're not already please hop over to my Instagram it's Butte Bean follow me there I post every single day and don't forget to subscribe I'm posting most days here as well thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one okay bye <laughs>